Hello, folks, and welcome to how to format uh, annotated bibliography using Chicago style. So this video is like part two. So there's another video that shows you how to set up a title page and get you to, to the second page. And so you can find that link right up here, um, I'll probably in the right-hand corner, or you can find it in the uh, description underneath. Okay, so what I've done is I've set up my title page. And so then if we're to do the annotated bibliography, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and the very first thing I'm going to type is annotated bibliography, and I'm going to make sure that's centered. So all I did was I just went to the first line, and I went to align and indent and made sure that was centered, and then I just typed in the word annotated bibliography. So I just did that ahead of time just to save us save some time. Okay, now all the research that I've done says, okay, so everything's already set up. So if you follow the video, other one, everything should be double-spaced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the enter button twice, okay? Um, that's just the way that it does, okay? And then I'm going to go to a line left. But now, if you look up top here, the way that I've set it up is that it's the first line is indented, but for, for this one, we really don't want it. So I'm going to hit the, the backspace button to get this all the way over here. Boop. Okay, so now that's where it should be. Just, just, just go with me on this. It's going to work out. Okay. Now, for the annotated bibliography, we're going to list a bunch of sources, and then for each source, there's supposed to be some information about that source, and that depends on the assignment you're doing. So um, let's first find a source. So I've done some research, and I found this um, article, and let's say I'm doing uh, you know, an annotated bibliography on the themes of a raisin in the sun. And so I found this article here, and I'm going to be like, oh, this is some great information. I'm going to use this one here. So I'm going to go to the Cite button. Again, this is video is not really about how to do research, it's more about how to do the formatting. And then I'm going to make sure that I switch down here to the latest edition of Chicago. Now, Chicago style has two different ways of doing citations. It has the author date system, or it has the notes and bibliography system. Um, it's been my experience that the, the notes, is the footnotes, are kind of like the more popular way of doing it, but double check with your instructor to see what they want, okay? So in this case, I'm going to use the notes and bibliography, okay? And then there is the um, citation. So I'm going to just copy this whole thing. So I didn't hit the copy button because it's actually would copy the word bibliography. So I'm just going to hit Control C to copy that. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my Google Doc. Okay. So now here, I'm going to right click and click on Paste without formatting. All right. So that is the uh, actual citation. Okay. Now, this is the tricky part, and this is uh, worth, worth the price of tuition right here, is how, how, you, how the rest of this works out. So what you're going to do is that you're going to highlight this whole area, and we're going to go to Format, Align and Indent, Indentation Options, and we want a special indent called Hanging. But hanging how far? So Chicago style is 0.5. 0.5, okay? Um, ask me why. I don't know why. I didn't create it. I'm just showing you how to do it. Okay, and then I'm going to hit apply. Watch what happens. Oh, okay, so this is the hanging indent, okay? Then the next part, so then I'm going to hit enter, okay? So uh, it bring it down. But I want the, the because this is just the source that we're looking at right here. Then we need to actually add information. It's like, well, what do the, let's say the, the instructor says, okay, well, give a quick summary of the article and the main point it's trying to uh, get across. So that's when I would type the information for the annotated bibliography. That's the idea. You find a source and then kind of summarize it, okay? So I'm going to hit the tab button to get to back here, and then I'm going to uh, type in, let's say, some information. So let me just pause the video and I'll do that. All right, so what I did here is, so again, this is the actual um, citation information. And then this is the actual, like, information about the article. Okay, it really isn't. I just wrote some stuff there. And, yeah, you can read through that. Isn't that cool? Okay. Anyway, so that, say, so now we've done one. Okay, now we need to do another one. Okay, so I'm just going to hit enter. Okay. And notice that it's back where it should be, or, or is it? Let's try to hit the backspace button again. Whoop, now it's back where it should be. Okay. And then we're going to find another source. So let's say we find another source. Gonna cite it. Cite it. Come on. And then this is another source we're going to be using. We're going to copy that. Oh no, we're not, because that's an AMA. Remember, I got to I got to change it down to 
Chicago 18 style notes and bibliography. Yeah, we gotta make sure we do that. Okay, there we go, that's right. Okay, now I'm gonna copy that, go back to my Google Doc, and then I'm gonna go right click, paste without formatting, boom again, but again, it's still messed up. So once again, I'm gonna go to format, align and indent, indentation options, hanging, do you remember? Bonus points if you remember. That's right, 0.5. I hit apply, boom, okay. Hit enter, hit tab, and then I could just copy this stuff and paste it down here. Well, I'm not really careful. But then, okay, yeah, I don't know why that didn't put a space there. Okay, now something else you need to keep in mind is that, and then you just keep doing this for however many sources you need, okay? Um, so the other thing that you should keep in mind is that the sources need to be in alphabetical order by the last name of the author. And if there is no last name of the author, if, this, if there is no author, then you use the title. So there's the title here, there's the title there, okay? Make sure they're in alphabetical order. So basically you'll just notice that the, the, the formatting is you have the annotated bibliography, you've got your source, you've got then the information about the source, and then you have another source, and then you have the source, and so on and so on and so on and so on, and rinse and repeat until you are done. And there you go, that's how you do it. Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, again, trying to help out folks on how to figure out this formatting stuff so they can actually focus on the, the content. So please, uh, you know, spread the word so you can, we can make life easier for folks. All right, there you go.